A full house at an iconic Queen West restaurant shutting its doors for good today. Lisa Marie has had an incredible six-year run in the neighbourhood. But as popular and busy as it may be, the owner tells me increasing industry costs and skyrocketing rent meant it was time for change. I'm really going to miss this place <laughs> a lot. Yeah. And um, here I am crying. Um, I was not, you know, from a business decision, this made all the sense in the world. Uh, emotionally, it's been very hard. An emotional goodbye to what has been a second home for owner Matt Basili. All the feels, all the feels. On its final day in business, Lisa Marie was bustling with patrons, some who have been coming here to enjoy brunch or a pint of beer since it first opened six years ago. I'm devastated. I feel like I'm a piece of my life is... Uh, is, is leaving me. I just, I'm, 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 I mean, I know Maddie's making the right decision, and, uh, but it's very, very difficult for me to, uh, to think that Lisa Marie's is going to be off of Queen Street. It's the end of an era, and uh, it's hard. That feeling of loss, all too familiar for people living in the neighborhood who have seen too many restaurants they love come and go. Since I lived here from three years ago now, there's been a huge turnover, and that's just really sad, and you know, you'd hope the city takes a, a look at great places like this uh, who have a community following would uh, be able to be able to stay. It's not that business is bad, but Basili says everything else has become far too unaffordable. Food has never cost more. Uh, rent has never cost more. Labor has never cost more. Napkins that are put on people's tables have never cost more. It's never cost me more to keep lights on. Everything, unfortunately, is at the highest it's ever been. And I have to say, realistically, there's only so much I can charge for a pint of beer. Basili says Lisa Marie is one of the few restaurants to survive on this strip of Queen West for as long as it has, estimating only 5% last more than two years. Even the restaurants that do make it say it's a miracle. Harlem Underground has been operating for 19 years. Thank God we were able to buy our building in 2004, because if we didn't buy our building, we wouldn't be here today. The rents are crazy, like, really. Still, the industry has taken its toll. To survive, like, really, I call it a game of restaurants, you know what I mean? Because, you know, if the rents don't get you, the intangibles do, you know what I mean? Everybody loses at the restaurant game in one way or another, believe it. Ahead on City News, the latest number is from Toronto Public Health on restaurant closures, not just in this area, but right across the city. Earlier in the show, we told you about Lisa Marie, a popular Queen West restaurant shutting its doors for good as industry costs and rent skyrocket. Toronto Public Health tells us between 2014 and 2018, more than 8,500 restaurants went out of business in the city. But the good news is that the number of restaurants opening in the city is still on the rise. In 2014, 8,900 restaurants opened their doors, and in 2018, more than 10,000 opened. That's a 3.6% increase. But the West Queen West BIA says times are tough for brick and mortar. 78% of the neighborhood is made up of millennials, and a lot are ordering food online instead of eating at restaurants. The only way to keep up will be to adapt to the new trends. Owners in the area say that's the toughest part of the industry. After about five years, the best restaurants tend to lose their relevance. You know, the industry changes rapidly, and more so, none more so than the restaurant industry, believe me. You know, it changes daily now. I'm told new owners will be taking over this space. They'll actually be keeping part of the name Lisa Marie, but transforming it to a rib and barbecue joint.